Well, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Kendall. I'm back. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and work for, uh, for Best Practice Counseling uh, here in Draper, Utah. We are following up just on what we've been working on as a clinical team over the last week or so, where we've been really working on, I don't know if you guys remember this, this is the polyvagal theory. So here's the freak out zone, our red zone. So hyperarousal, so that's when we feel super anxious or hypervigilant. And a lot of people have really felt this way uh, with the unknown of the COVID uh, crisis and kind of watching some of the things happen around the country and around the world as the, the virus spreads. So a lot of people have talked about having uh, sleepless nights and, and lots of dreams and uh, feeling rather anxious and kind of over the top. Um, with financial crisis and, and which is feeling unsafe. So that's that hyper aroused space. So a lot of people have been sitting here and then we just can't stay there forever. Um, our bodies physically can't kind of stay in a hyper aroused state forever. And we end up kind of popping down into this lower one, which is the hyper arousal, the yield. So I just wanted to remind you these, this is that dissociative state. So we can be very depressed here. You know, our bodies just get exhausted and we drop into hypoarousal as a protection. Um, kind of like the roly-poly we talked about in my first video. And then here is the, the window tolerance or the optimal zone of arousal. And this is kind of where we want to be because when we're in the green zone, we can make better decisions. Uh, we can problem solve. We can actually connect with other people. And we really want to be here as we work to get through this crisis. Um, as a society and individually and as families. So I want to remind you of that. So today we're going to be working on um, one technique called box breathing or square breathing technique. Many of you probably tried this before and we'll do it together. We'll talk a little bit about diaphragmatic breathing. But we want to move out of this zone and into this zone or out of this zone and into this zone. So part of it is you recognizing for yourself which zone that you're in. And then once you're able to recognize that, you're able to work to either upregulate or downregulate. Okay? So, um, just really quick, a quick lesson on diaphragmatic breathing is I want you to put your left or right hand on your belly, and I want you to put your left or right hand on your chest. So, one hand on the chest, one hand on the belly. And when you breathe, you're going to breathe into the belly, and I want you to see your hand move. Okay, so breathe in and breathe out. Most of the time when we're feeling anxious or we're in that busy space, the hyper aroused space, we tend to just breathe from the chest up. And what happens when we do that is we're not getting that full breath and it keeps our body, it keeps our nervous system activated. So we want to deactivate the nervous system so that we can be back in our green zone, right? Because when we're in our red zone, remember this is the amygdala and the hippocampus, the hypothalamus, they're all kind of part of this section of the brain, the limbic system. When that's activated, we're in that red zone. We want to be back here in the green zone. We know that breathing is one way to do that. So we want to do that diaphragmatic breathing, which is we want that tummy to be able to extend and really get that deeper breath. So let's try it one more time. Big deep breath, hand on the belly, hand on the chest. Breathe in through the nose if you can. And blow it out. So when we do the box breathing, every time we breathe in, we're gonna do that big belly diaphragmatic breath. We're gonna hold it for four seconds. We're just gonna hold our breath for four seconds. And then we're gonna breathe out for four seconds. And then we're gonna hold that out breath for four seconds as well. So it looks something like this. Ready? Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold it. One, two, three, four. And blow it out. One, two, three, four. And hold it. One, two, three, four. Okay? Let's do it together. Okay? So I want you to, if you want, it can be really helpful, put a hand on your belly and put a hand on your chest as you do this. And you're going to breathe in. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Blow it out. One, two, three, four. And breathe, hold it. One, two, three, four. 
two, three, four. Let's do it again. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Blow it out. One, two, three, four. And hold it. One, two, three, four. Excellent. I'm excited. This is super simple, but it's a great way to get the, the nervous system, the autonomic nervous system to kind of calm down, move out of the red brain, move back into your green brain, which is going to better benefit you as far as being able to connect with others, being able to problem solve. Um, you can do this multiple times a day. It's been proven to really help the body relax and calm. I would recommend if you're struggling to sleep at night and any other time really to try this at night, do um, three or four sets in the evening, maybe three or four sets in the morning um, as you get out of bed and be able to calm the body and get your mind in a space where you can kind of function in the day. So my heart goes out to all of you. I hope for our, our whole world that, that all is well with you and with your families. And please stay safe and know that you're loved. Take it easy, everybody. We'll be back with some more.